Hey everybody, Sherry. I decided to come back and do some more videos. I had to take a break because life happened. And I mean, not all bad things, but just lots of life things. So um, I'm finally getting myself back to doing some things I enjoy. And this is one of them. So I hope you enjoy what I have for you today. I am just gonna go through a few products that I have been using and reaching for multiple times. I have realized that I need to stop buying new makeup all the time. I have so many things stuffed full of makeup and um, I'm running out of space and I need to save for other things that are more important right now. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time focusing on things that I use repeatedly and try to give more in-depth reviews. They may not be the most brand new, new releases, but there are so many places you can find new releases too that I don't think anybody will miss that. If I do get a new release, I will probably show a new impression, new impression, first impression, just so that you guys know where I'm starting out with on a product, and then I will keep using it, or if I decide it sucks, I don't wanna use it, I'll let you know that too, but I'll give things at least a couple chances before I get to that. I'm also open to doing tags. Tags can be fun, like especially eyeshadow or makeup related ones or YouTube related ones. Um, first off, let me mention today I did use the BH Cosmetics Paris Travel Edition eyeshadow palette. First time I've used it, so it won't really be in this. Did I even bring it downstairs? No, oh, didn't even bring it with me. Um, so far, so good. So far, I love it. Loving the shimmer, loving the mattes, everything blended well. Um, you can kind of see I'm on natural light with an overhead light. That's all I've got. So, um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's really pretty. I did use Davina Halo Moon in the corner. I have their Halo Moons down here, actually. Excuse my face right up in yours. It's Davina palette I bought and their, wow, that actually looks pretty good. they are halos and two mattes in here but these are the halo moons and you can see some of the really pretty shifts on here, which I'm impressed. And uh, so I use those on inner corners a lot, unless I wanna use it over another shadow. But if I don't have an inner corner highlight that I want, I go to that and I can instantly find one that goes with whatever, co whatever color I have in my eyes. So I've kind of got a bluish purplish one today. Which one was that? Hmm? That is Nookamis. I, I can't pronounce things. No comments. Sorry if I'm wrong there. I hate picking up my singles because I'm always afraid I'm gonna damage something or break something because it has happened. Um, I did use the Auric Morganite today. Second time I've used it. So far I really like it. I have it underneath the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops and I've, I've been using that constantly this summer. That's been my go-to foundation. I love how it feels. The Auric just gives it some oomph. Um, when I just do the Auric alone, it's too much shine for me. I have lived my life with oily, acne-prone skin growing up, so I hate that sign, sign, look. But um, so far, you know, so far I like it better under things. I haven't actually mixed it with anything yet. That's just not something I've really done, but like I said, this is my second time using it. Now these Juvia's lipsticks, this is me. This is what I've got on my lips today. I really like these. I think they feel good on the lips. They feel nourishing. They're pretty, I mean, it's not long lasting, but it lasts better than some. And I just, I love some of the colors they have. So, and then I've already discussed Davina with you, how I can say absolutely nothing bad about Davina. I have the Aurora Flares, um, Candy Cakes, and something I can't remember collection. But I, I love them, I enjoy them. And I, I don't think you can really go wrong with any Davina product you buy. Next up, I know this one, I looked online when I'm filming this and it's up for order right now. So if you want it, you better grab it. So Lewis Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. This one I've used a few times. I have made my green and brown looks. I have made my green and gold. I've done some different pinks. So this one, I've had good luck with all the mattes, with the shimmers. I like the placement of everything in the palette because it just, it looks like it would go together and it's easier to create. And sometimes I wanna sit down and think about what I'm doing, but there's a lot of other times where I'm like, okay, I don't wanna spend a ton of time figuring out what eyeshadows go with what. I just want something easy that's calling to me. 
and that has everything I need right there and that I can look and go, okay, this goes with this. This is what I wanna do today. Because a lot of days are like that. I prefer to have days where I can play, but those days don't always happen. Um, we've got a new puppy who is five months old now and 50 pounds. He's a golden doodle. His name is Murphy. I'm sure you will meet him at some point, but right now he's with my kid upstairs. Who My kid actually is the one who made these earrings. Their Etsy shop is called Treasures by Kaz. I'll try to remember to link it. Um, next up, I bought a couple of the Jacqueline Cosmetics. I bought one of these bronzer blush. I got the Lilac Love and Top Tan. Packaging is nice, not as nice as some others, and the powders are nice enough. I mean, they're soft, it's pretty, but it's really hard to get the color on my face. I went in quite a few times with this today, and I can see a little bit, but I can't see a lot. So, I mean, it works. If you're someone who likes makeup that you're kind of scared of pigmentation, you just want to start with something soft, I think this will work. Now the bronzer I have the same problem with, if not more, it's hard to get it to show up and I have to use a lot of it. Granted, that means I may actually pan one of these, but that's only when I have the patience to sit and work with it. But it is the only lilac blush I own. So right now that's kind of where we're going with it. All right, I do have one of Jaclyn's highlighters from this collection. This is Awestruck. I have used this quite a few times now. It does work as a great highlighter. You can see that, and you can kind of see the auric and stuff showing through, but you can see the nice highlight I got going on. That's from this. Um, I definitely prefer this over the blush bronzer combo. I don't even want to talk about her latest bronze thing that came out with barely any shades. I'm not purchasing any of that. It's not on my radar. It's, no, I want to be inclusive, people. All right, Copacetic Cosmetics. This is their... Sarah betrothed one. Um, I think it was, it was April or May. Today's June. It may have been May. <laughs> I can never remember these, but this one I absolutely love. I like to put the green mat up in the corner in the crease. And then I love to put this peach, this peachy shimmer. Oh my God, people, it's a duochrome. It's beautiful. See, my lighting sucks, but that peach up in there. And then I like to use the gold as an inner corner highlight and the flakies, I like to just put a little up on, on my upper brow bone up here because the flakies take a little bit of getting used to, at least for me, but I found if I can blend them out in a certain area, they can look really, really pretty. So I just need to work with that. Initially, I was just using my finger and tapping it on my lid and that, no, it looked pretty, but it felt so uncomfortable. So you gotta blend it out in my, in my opinion. The next one I have is Joyful Fish. Now this is from, I brought their other one. I haven't used this one much yet. It's Single Sickle Inspired Tammy Tanaka. This had the name on it. I haven't really used this one much. I didn't like the mats when I used it the first time, so I need to go back and reuse it. But that's the Flaming Gold. This one, I got a little mini, which is actually kind of nice. I'm only afraid I will lose it, but I have a good chance at going through it. These are absolutely stunning. One of my favorites is this middle one, and I don't, oh, do I have names? I have names I can't read. All right. And they're just so pretty. The shimmer is gorgeous. This is doing it, not doing it justice, but they are just so pretty, so shiny, and I can make wonderful little blue looks with this. I can't make a ton of looks, but I can make a few different ones, and I really enjoy it so far. Next is the Kaleidos Flower Punk Palette. Now, these are all ones I've used recently. This one, I have done the greens and gold. I have done these four together, four or five, actually. And I always get a good look. I love that I, I wasn't sold on the packaging when I first got it. But once it arrived and I started using it, I love that I can just slip this point off, part off. And then it's not in the way. So this is a lovely, gorgeous palette. I did not look to see if it was available but I do really enjoy it. Now, another one that I know Sydney Grace is having a sale coming up, so you might, if you haven't gotten Tiny Marvels yet, it's good. I have used this quite a few times now. The mattes and shimmers are great, and I have done either a look where it took me like 20 minutes, whatever, to blend stuff together, 
And then I have used these to just make real quick, oh my God, I have to be out in the house, out of the house in five minute looks. And it works wonderfully for that. Blends together, looks great. I know lots of people sing and say praise about that one. And I, I am too. It's beautiful. The last palette I have today kind of surprised me. I got the Candy Skies by Laura Lee palette. Now I have her Christmas one from a few years ago that I bought just this past Christmas and I love it. It's beautiful. The shadows are good, all that. This one, she came out with some colors and I actually really like all these colors. I have used these four and I have used these all together so far. What I still need to do, and I almost did today, but going with what I'm wearing and just how I'm feeling, I went with the blue and purple, which tends to be my thing. But these peachy colors, I really wanna use. I love the sunset color. Let's see if I can swatch it decently. It's not too bad. My lighting just is not showing what I want it to show. Um, oh no, I dug my hand into a shadow. <laughs> it happens. Um, so yeah, those are the eyeshadows I have. I am going to keep using them. I will report back again, but these are ones that are all in my collection that I explained why I don't like or why I do like it. Um, and these are, you know, reviews after using it for a while. I do have one mascara to mention, and that's this Vicious Mascara from Nabla. I love Nabla. I had great hopes for this, especially since it's a cat. I'm like, that's a cool cat head. It reminds me of Black Panther. Um, I know it's not, but it's really pretty. And I was very disappointed with the mascara. It's very wet. So when I put it on, as soon as I blink, it's all over the place. Um, it smears and stuff. So I just, some people may love it. It's just got too much user error possible for me. Right now I've been using the Maybelline Falsies like a lot and I like it a lot. Um, I don't wanna open any of the other ones I have until I finish that one since I do like it. This one is probably just gonna hang out as decoration because I don't like to do my eye makeup and then have something happen and I have to redo it because it's not worth it, no. So that's pretty much all I have today. Um, quick short video to say hi, I'm back. I'm never really left, I've just been busy. Um, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day and that you have a good weekend. Hopefully I get this up before the weekend is over. And I just want to say, as always, please remember you are loved, you are worthy, and you never have to be, <laughs> you never have to be perfect, even when talking, but especially with makeup. Thanks. Bye.